I've put 100 hours into Dragon Age The Valgard. I've seen the true ending, and I think it's pretty safe to say. What? And with that, today I wanted to talk about the future of Dragon Age The Valgard and really put a bow on what this means for Dragon Age and what is to come. Let's go. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next from Dragon Age. So firstly, if you're wondering if Dragon Age The Valgard is getting DLC, the answer is unfortunately no. According to the creative director, John Epler, in his interview with Rolling Stone, he confirms that there is currently no plans for downloadable expansions, which considering how DLC focused a lot of Bioware games and older Dragon Age games have been, especially Inquisition and Mass Effect for sure, it is kind of disappointing in some regards. I always felt that with these Bioware games that the DLC DLC really added something to the game in a really meaningful way. Like I always remember the companions from like Mass Effect 2 or obviously the Citadel being as incredible as it is, but there's always been quite like really meaningful and incredible DLC from Bioware that it is a little sad to hear, especially when Dragon Age story isn't complete, more on that shortly. But the main reason for this is Bioware seems to be full steam ahead on that next Mass Effect release. I think it's quite evident for a number of reasons and namely because of how vocal Mike Gamble is being on social media, openly talking about how Mass Effect will retain its photorealistic look rather than the art style of Dragon Age of Valgard, and just discussing the elements of, you know, obviously Valgard coming out, but then looking forward to Mass Effect, and seemingly the studio is now jumping full steam ahead on that release. I am glad that they are, like Mass Effect was always my favorite of these two children, and I am excited to see where they go, especially with that little teaser they did release last year. I was hoping we would got a little bit more juice this year with some sort of a teaser on N7 Day, but I mean, I mean, we did get like the suit of armor in Valgard, which is a nice thing to have, but I would have liked to know a little bit more about how that Mass Effect journey is going, but obviously Obviously, they don't want to take the thunder away from Dragon Age the Valgard considering it did just come out. So probably another year before we hear more about what's happening with Mass Effect, but it is interesting that Dragon Age doesn't really have that sort of like a like a Dragon Age day or a Dragon Age event where they regularly provide updates about what's happening with the franchise. Mass Effect always seems to get that attention because of N7 day being November 7th and it just makes perfect sense. Whereas Dragon Age doesn't really have that. They did make one up when they were like promoting Dragon Age the Valgard, but it would be nice to have some sort of, a, you know, a day where they regularly provide updates about the franchise. Like Fallout has Fallout Day, right? So where does this leave the future of Dragon Age? Well, there's there's really two things, potentially remasters of the older games, which is looking very unlikely, and maybe a Dragon Age 5 to resolve the secret post credit scene from Veilguard, which I actually don't think is going to be resolved in a Dragon Age 5. But let's start with the remasters. So remasters or the legendary edition, right? How we got those for Mass Effect. For Dragon Age Origins or Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition, in that same Rolling Stones article, Epler mentioned that the first two used their own custom custom Eclipse engine, while Inquisition used Frostbite, a platform famously used to build the Battlefield games. The Mass Effect trilogy, on the other hand, used Unreal Engine, a more flexible and widely popular engine used in game development, which made the remastering process much easier for the Legendary Collection. I think I'm one of the maybe 20 people left at Bioware who actually used Eclipse, Epler says. It's something that's not going to be easy as Mass Effect, but we do love the original games. Never say never, I guess that's what it comes down to. So that's an interesting comment, really, because Never Say Never does leave the possibility open that it may happen in the future because obviously Epler doesn't make those top level business decisions. If Andrew Wilson, the CEO of EA, just comes down and says, hey, we're going to remaster these, obviously they're going to have to do it. But it's interesting to note that that technical investment and the studio time involved in putting that together would be more effort than it would be to do the Mass Effect Legendary Edition because of that engine and how many people are left actually with that knowledge, not only at the studio, but just in general. Like the Eclipse engine, I've honestly never heard of before. On a quick Google, I found this Techno Bez article, which I mean, who knows if this is even accurate, right? But basically the only thing that's ever been developed on this engine is Dragon Age, a Disney collection and Kirby Dream World. So there's not really gonna be a lot of developers out there that are going to have that knowledge like outside of Bioware say to let's say hire people to come back and work on the Eclipse engine right like it would be learning that engine from scratch which is probably not something that's very easy to do like when the game is already complete and it is you know X amount of years old especially with Dragon Age Origins having come out so long ago maybe that effort isn't actually worth it it is disappointing because I would really love a graphical like uplift and especially a UI uplift to Dragon Age Origins like I think that would be 
really special for like the game's longevity and its history. I think that's one of the things that did really well for Mass Effect is having that legendary collection where everything is like in that one box. It all works perfectly. And especially because of the story of Shepard's journey going from one to three, having a similar like quality of life update that Mass Effect 1 got with the legendary edition for Dragon Age Origins would be quite good, especially to uplift it so it's playable on modern consoles or at least has some form of controller support on PC, like same with Dragon Age 2, because that is quite frustrating for me because I do like to play games with controllers sometimes and sit back in my chair. But I do think there is a point to think about with this potential for Dragon Age 5 and the resolving that post credit scene. So I don't want to spoil the ending scene if you haven't done it yet. I do have a video that tells you exactly how to unlock that scene. So you can just go and do that like spoiler free. And then I also do actually show the scene itself at the end of that video. So obviously link that here if you just want to go and watch that and then come back to this. But just to avoid spoiling it in case you haven't done it, I'd like just to give you a quick overview here just for context. Essentially that scene connects all the Dragon Age games in a seemingly meaningful way that's been leading to something. What that something is, we'll have to wait and see. And I do think there is an interesting thread to be pulled there. It does seem pretty obvious if you know Dragon Age lore, like who, what's happening there, right? Like I'm trying to be very vague here for spoilers, but the thing that is really interesting to me is like, will that be resolved in a potential Dragon Age 5 in like, I don't know, 2035, or will it be resolved elsewhere? I am very interested in your thoughts on this. I'm tending to lean that this thread will be resolved elsewhere. Now, what I mean by that is Dragon Age has and Mass Effect to some regard as well, but especially Dragon Age, there's plenty of books, comics, other media, as well as movies apparently, like shout out Kess, one of my friends who told me that there was a Cassandra movie based on the character from Inquisition and like her past, which I thought was quite interesting. But I do expect that this thread that they've created from Veilguard is most likely to be resolved or at least discussed further in some sort of a book or a comic or something along those lines. I actually don't think that we're going to necessarily get a Dragon Age 5 or another Dragon Age game. That might be a bit of a hot take, but I I don't know. I just feel after Veilguard, especially with some of the reception that's been out there, that the current journey for Dragon Age at least has really run its course. You know, I think to Mass Effect, right, we had those first three games. In this case, in Dragon Age, we had Origins 2 and Inquisition. And then that fourth game being Andromeda in Mass Effect's case, and then Veilguard in this case, has really had its ups and downs, both from a reception perspective of fans actually playing the game, its development and being sort of stuck in development for a long time. I just feel that there's a lot of similarities between these two franchises and how they've been handled. And I, I kind of expect that whether they even resolve this thread or they completely drop it, that this will be the end of the current Dragon Age. And we may then see in eight years time, very similar to what we had with Mass Effect and Liara popping up in the brand new trailer. It could be something similar with say Alistair or even the kid that Morrigan has, who knows whatever happened to that person. But I'm, I'm curious to know where this goes. And I think that it will just be a complete reset of not the law, right? But just say the, the current arc is going to just going to be resolved separately. And then a brand new story arc may continue, or they may just choose not to continue with it. Like, Honestly, it is too early to really discuss that and we haven't got any official word from Bioware or EA, but I wanted to put this video together to really talk about the future of Dragon Age and Veilguard in general and really put a cap on our journey because we've been talking about Dragon Age on this channel for almost two months straight. Like if you've joined uh, the channel during this time, like welcome and I appreciate you guys hanging out, but I do cover other RPGs and open world games here as well, other than Dragon Age that we've just been solely focused on for so long because I do love Dragon Age and I love Bioware and I would honestly be really sad if this is the end of Dragon Age as a whole. Like I would love to either have some sort of remaster, a new game, something happening in the future that would be excited to look forward to. But I am very keen to see what they are doing in the future with Mass Effect and potentially Dragon Age or whatever comes next after that point. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of Dragon Age's future as a whole? Are we going to get a book, a comic, a movie, anything at all? I'm, I'm very interested to know what you think. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.